Hello guys, Flanker is here. In this video, we're gonna talk about expertise and I will share the fastest possible way after the last update to power level it. Having maxed expertise is important for multiple reasons. First of all, it allows to drop items with high gear score. Secondly, it is mandatory for those who are willing to get best in slot legendary items from expeditions. And finally, the most important reason, not having a maxed expertise will lead to gear downscaling after the patch in early 2022, which is most likely gonna be in January. At this point of time, majority of players are mostly focused on doing elite chest runs and completing daily tasks to obtain gypsum orbs. But both of these activities have a long cooldown which makes it impossible to grind them non-stop. Previously it was possible to do the stockpile runs or farm various named mobs, but the chance of getting an expertise bump by doing this now has been significantly decreased after the last patch. So many players are wondering what else can be done to increase their expertise level. Fortunately, there is a very good option. It requires a couple of preparation steps and having some gold on hands, but don't get scared, make sure to watch the video till the end and you will realize that it is not complicated at all. After the last update, defeating any arena boss gives a guaranteed expertise bump. In addition to that, it is much easier to craft tuning orbs now because they no longer require corrupted fragments. You can craft 5 keys for each of 3 arenas per week, which is 15 arena tuning orbs in total. Now, the best possible scenario to power level your expertise in the fastest possible way is to have four other players, maybe your friends or company members, who will do the same thing and then share the tuning orbs with each other. As a result, you will have 75 arena keys in total. Keep in mind that you get around 200 gold every time when you defeat a boss and this will compensate the expenses to craft your tuning orbs almost in full. I will show that in a moment. Now, if you are a solo player, you can still use your arena keys cooldowns and sell slots in group for 2, 3, 400 gold easily. Other players will buy the slots in group to obtain their daily C3 in Gypsum. It's not gonna be a problem for anyone to pay because, once again, all group members get around 200 gold after defeating the arena boss. So, I will use the prices of my server as an example to calculate the expenses for each tuning orb. As you can see, Sirens and Protectors orbs are the cheapest, so if you don't plan to do all 75 runs, then just craft these two orbs. Also, keep in mind that I took the market prices as as if I bought everything from the trading post. But in reality, using your daily runestone cooldown and farming modes for energy cores may significantly decrease your expenses. So if I would just buy everything, my total expenses for 15 tuning orbs will be around 17k and I will get 15k back after completing all runs. It means that in the worst case I will pay 2000 gold for 75 guaranteed expertise bumps and that actually sounds like a pretty good deal. But once again, your expenses can be much lower than 17k. Apart from that, don't forget that you also need 45k of faction tokens for star metal chisels, but I guess at this point of time it shouldn't be a problem problem for anyone to farm them within a week. So, a small note before we move to the next part. Now we are not talking about the cheapest or easiest way to farm expertise, we are talking about the fastest possible way to grind it actively. Previously, players were farming Fae the Last Protector or the Tentacle in Eternal Pool day and night before they got nerfed. And this is pretty much the same thing that unfortunately requires a few more steps. Probably some of you are wondering how long does it take to defeat each arena boss? I've completed all of them a lot of times and from my experience a decent group can easily do that within 4-5 minutes which means that you can do approximately 10 runs per hour or around that. If you have never been to arenas before or just looking for some extra tips how to speedrun it, I recommend you to watch a video guide on my channel about all arena bosses. One more thing that I'd like to add to that guide is information about a bug that I faced recently while fighting the Siren's Queen. Apparently coming too close to the gates might lead to getting kicked out of arena for unknown reason. You won't be able to return back legally and using unstuck will not help too, but you can climb the fencing on the right side. However, you won't be able to move inside because you will get teleported from the arena and I'm not sure whether you will get a reward eventually if this bug happens, so make sure to stay away from the gates. Last but not least, keep in mind that farming arena bosses is a great way to increase expertise for weapons and armor, but unfortunately, they the caches that you get as a reward do not contain any jewelry in drop list. Therefore, it might be a good idea to spend your gypsum orbs for jewelry and farm everything else here. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more guides. I'm Flanker and I wish you luck in Eternum.